Ashcroft for the Gold Coast. Cornwall jumps. Now I haven't given any thought at all. Bull shark. A bull shark. Bull shark. <laughs> I think this will drag the people in from all around the world. Actually, you're on a winner. We take you back to the Gold Coast studio, and it's Mossy and Robbo for Gold Coast Gold. And uh, Mick Fanning, we know uh, he's a huge fan of uh, School of the Bullshit. Well, we do, mate, and I want to just go on now with, with the support that we've been getting, or that school has been getting, and we've been hearing about um, with the whole campaign. And Mick Fanning, we can, um, we can cast our minds back a year ago, Mossy, when Mick actually met Schoolie for the first time at the closing ceremony in Glasgow. Let's see how that went. Looking, for, looking forward to the games. Yeah, well, keep the men in grey suits away from us. Yeah, right. I'll do my best. Mick, I don't have fun. Tara. Good luck. So there you go, Moss. You didn't, uh, Mick didn't take to schoolie straight away, but you can see later on he had uh, a great relationship there and they've been best mates ever since. And uh, I think believe schoolie's helping Mick. They're just talking through some of the, uh, you know, the issues from the J-Bay incident recently as well. But uh, look, Mick has stood by and come out and said, Schoolie's still got, still got his vote and confidence. But it, it doesn't just stop there with uh, Mick Fanning. Also, I know I saw you arm in arm with uh, the Minister, Kate Jones, and Mayor Tom Tate as well, in deep discussion about School of the Bullshit. Yes, yeah, well, that's right. When we're up there, mate, and uh, look, it was interesting... Uh, Mayor Tom Tate and uh, the Minister for the Com Games and Tourism, Kate Jones, they're not quite sure how to take what we've put on, on the plate here for them. Uh, you know, they're worried about what it's going to do to tourism, what it's going to do to the reputation of the Gold Coast. Look, I think they need to be bold, make this decision. It's something that's going to be a little bit cheeky, Mossy. It's going to get a little giggle and a chortle out of the locals on the Gold Coast, but it's going to make the Gold Coasters fall in love with their mascot. And I think if you want a successful games, that's what you need to do. It Don't just create some soft, cuddly thing that someone over in Canada or in Kenya is going going to fall in love with just because it's cute and cuddly. They need something with a bit of go about it, and Schoolie is the one to do. Um, Mossy, arm in arm, just think, casting back to Mick, uh, Mick Fanning, imagine Mick Fanning arm in arm with Schoolie the Bull Shark, a full-size mascot at the opening ceremony. That will bring the house down. This will be like Nelson Mandela bringing South Africa together. This will bring surfers and the people of the world with the sharks out there. There'll never be another shark, or as I say, another love bite again. No, that's right. I think you're right. But uh, So, mate, lots of support. Um, the good thing about Kate Jones was that her son, uh, she told me, is a massive fan of getting a shark as the mascot. So if the Minister for the Com Games' son is on board with Schoolie, well, that's good enough for me, Mossy. I, I'm taking that to be a, a wink and a nudge to say, look, we'll look after Schoolie. So if we can get the kids of Australia, tick, the adults of Australia, yep. tick, the politicians of Australia tick. Yes. All we need now is to look at some, I guess, Commonwealth Games legends, those people who have gone to the Games and brought back medals. Yes. And I know we had a chance uh, to catch up with a couple of those legends. We did. Look, here we are at the, at the Legends Lunch at the Gold Coast Marathon. Steve Monaghetti, Rob DeCastella, we shared lunch with them, we took them to lunch and we put forward the idea for Schoolie and Monas, he couldn't get enough of it. Uh, he was just, you know, loving the idea that we could get a shark in that job, and he's been the chief, chief de mission, and he's won gold no medals. No one even knows how to say it. No, that's, who knows? Chef, but chief, He's chef. been very, very high up, and uh, look, as you can see there, big thumbs up from Monas. Here's what he had to say. Being from Ballarat, I, I had no concern with sharks. And Mossy, I heard uh, just recently, Greg Norman, the shark himself, well, he's come on board uh, giving a whole bunch of support behind Schoolie as well. Makes sense. Yeah, well, he's, there is a bit of an issue with the trademark of the, the, the logo, so yes. he's definitely coming to play with that. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. But look, sharks are everywhere, not just on the, on the field, in the water, but also off the field yep. as part of mascots already. It's embedded in the culture of the Gold Coast. We only have to look at um, Southport Sharks, yes. um, Burley, the Bull Shark, Burley Hitton Bull Shark. Yes. They have there. What else the cricket, have we got? The cricket club. Well, um, well, they've got Sharky, the mascot, who's there at, at Southport, uh, the footy club there. So that's fantastic. Let's think a bit broader. Cronulla Sharks. Over in Glasgow, mostly, they've got the Glasgow Sharks, the footy AFL team over there as well. What about on the bowling greens? Kelvin Kirko, well, he's thrown his support behind Schoolie as well. Here's what he had to say. I know uh, we're caught up in Glasgow where Clyde was the mascot over there, here on the Gold Coast. They've got a bit of work to do, the organiser. They've got to sort out, three years to go, less than, what the mascot's going to be. Have you given it any thought yet, mate? Schoolie the bull shark. Have a look. <laughs> How wrong can you go? Beautiful. Watch out. Here he comes. You don't think he's going to scare too many of the swimmers in the pool? I don't think so. Swim like a swimmer, fast as he can go. There you go, Kelvin Kirko, the great Kelvin Kirko is endorsing Schoolie the Bull Shark. 
he is locked in and we'll see him uh, at the bowls. Uh, he'll go all right there. He won't last too long out of water, though. No. Listen, he can... Uh... He'll keep a nice bite, though. Big, big fish tank in the that's middle it. of the green. That's it. Perfect. Well, there you go, Mossy. That's pretty good for me. I mean, we've got all that support there. We should also mention we've got... Schoolie's got the support of the Gold Coast Bulletin, uh, the media there on the Gold Coast, the Bully. They, they're huge fans. They have been since day one. He's even getting his own articles now. I think he's getting his own column. He's got his own column. For, yeah. the, next, for the next year. He's doing his own wet blog. And Schoolie's also been approached by Red Bull. And, uh, it's you know, it's, it's worth mentioning now that... Uh, School is considering a, a lucrative deal to rename yourself Schoolie the Red Bull Shark. So again, that makes sense too, Mossy. I think Schoolie's going to do it. What we want you to do is go out there, spread the word, use the hashtag GoSchoolie wherever you can. He's on social media, at Schoolie2018, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, Fintrust as well, Mossy, if you like that one. And uh, look, he's everywhere. Get behind it, and we're going to get Schoolie over the line at the Gold Coast. <laughs> for schooling.